Welcome to the Big Brother Breakdown with Jolene. Welcome to the BB Breakdown with Jolene. I'm spitting. That is horrible. Welcome to the Big Brother Breakdown with Jolene. Welcome to the BB Breakdown with Jolene. That's me. Hey guys, and welcome to the Big Brother Breakdown with Jolene. That's me. I break down all things Big Brother. This is a special series I'm doing where I'm breaking down Big Brother 23 auditions because we are so close to BBUS, BB23. Our summer obsession is starting soon. People are posting their Big Brother audition videos on YouTube and I am reviewing them right here for you. If this is your first time on my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe, smash the bell so you get notified every time I go live and post new content. And also give this video a thumbs up. It helps so much, you guys, in the algorithm of YouTube, of YouTube life. life. All right, today I found a lovely young woman's video. I don't know her name here, but we're gonna watch it. We're gonna react to it. As I'm reacting and as we're watching, feel free to leave your comments, okay? Leave them. I love to know what you guys think. These are merely subjective from me a Big Brother fan and Big Brother YouTuber. So uh, let's get started. What's good, y'all? My name is Amanda Sunshine. I'm 26 years old. I'm from the East Coast, but currently I'm in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Mm. I am a baker. I am a brow artist. I am a restaurant host. You name it, I'm, I'm a hustler. But most importantly, I'm America's next favorite house guest and Big Brother. Oh, I, let's talk about how I... So I'm in love with Big Brother. Big Brother 7, All Stars. I was like, what is this show? You know, I'm a big reality TV comp junkie. Like, what's this? And of course, you know, Big Brother it explains that at every point in time. So it's very easy to keep up with. So I was like, ooh, I love the sneakiness. I love the brilliance. I love how you tap into someone's head and make them do what you want them to do in order for you to get what you need to get. So immediately, I fell in love and it became my guilty pleasure. Every mm -hmm. summer, three nights a week, you saw me in hand with snacks, coke, ready for the show to go, ready to dive in. That plays a big part into why I'm auditioning now. I always thought I was going to be on TV. I always knew I was going to be someone that was going to entertain people. I've been told my whole life, you should be on TV. You're very entertaining. But I never thought it would be Big Brother because, you know, 40% of the com competition is physical. Um, and I don't even like, I, at the point, I didn't even like to walk. A year and a half ago, I decided to take control of my life. I graduated college at 22 years old. Post-grad depression was extremely real. I ended up getting custody of my two nieces. Oh. Um, I became homeless after my apartment catching on fire. And I had gained well over 50 pounds. Big. Super big. To the point that my doctor was like, yo, you're going to be, by the time you're 30, you are going to be at 200 pounds. I said, that's a... By the time I'm 26, I'm going to be at 350 pounds. Like, I'm diving in every chance I get. You know, so I got that gastric sleeve surgery. Uh, and I lost 105 pounds. So, you know, your girl looks good or whatever. <laughs> for the last 10 to 11 months, I've been training so hard for this moment. Um, I've been in the gym four times. A nice. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Ready to be on the wall for three hours, holding off a dear life because I plan on winning. Okay, I'm very relatable. I know my social media <laughs> is going to be my strongest tool here. My strategy here is to just go and be myself, my authentic <laughs> self. I am myself in any setting. Um, I'm not someone who adjusts to any setting. I have people adjust to me. Some mm. people know what to do with me. Most people don't. Banter queen. I am lethal with my tongue. Slick as they come. I always have something to say. I am very opinionated. It's the East Coast in me, something that I plan to use to my advantage, make the shock value. I'm not afraid to shake shit up. I'm not afraid to tell you about yourself and I'm not afraid to check you. The last five to six seasons, probably even more, big, a lot of Big Brother players and their strategy has been very safe and very weak. And no, I'm ready to go in there and call people out in their shit because why the fuck not? Oh. A lot of people think that having a target on your back is necessarily the worst thing. No, keep me in the house. Let me be the target. Let me be the bad guy. Let me be that person who you can depend on to, to say shit when, you, when you're thinking it because I'm not afraid to take it there. I've been in sales my whole entire life, so I know how to persuade people. I know how to get things out of people. People always think that it's about what you're saying. It's about how you're saying it, where your eyes are headed, where your, shoulder, where your shoulders are swaying, where you're, what you're doing with your hands. So those are clues to if the person is bullshitting you or not. And you can't bullshit a bullshit. You can't finesse a finesse. 
zone zone to it. Making sure that I'm asking the right questions so that I can get the right information so I know how I can add to your alliance, how I can add to your game so that you think you're going to get to where you need to get to when in fact we need to get to where I need to get to so that I can go ahead and go home with my money at the end of the game. Okay, first things first. Obviously, I love a big brother player with a lethal tongue. It sounds like she described herself similar to me at times where I can have a dagger for a tongue. Definitely like that. Do I think she'd be entertaining? Hell yes. Would I give her a call back in a second? Do I have some little critiques about the audition? Yes. I like how you're being yourself. I love that. I love the realness of it. But maybe since it's on CBS, which is a network uh, show and they bleep everything and, and hide things and hide things in the edit, don't swear so much. But I'm just thinking from the corporate aspect of CBS, maybe just change your <laughs> to, you know, doo-doos and darns or something. She knows about the game. She has a great backstory. Because when I'm first looking at her and she was telling me that she is – a fan of Big Brother. I was like, uh-uh. And then she provided receipts. I mean, kind of a receipt, but it was when she was little, sitting in her bed, eating, watching Big Brother, which is what I do as an adult. So uh, definitely hashtag relatable. And then to hear her story that she had weight loss surgery and she kind of now found herself, you know, she lost the weight. She's out there working out. When I saw she was showing us receipts of her working out and everything she's doing to get ready for the game. She said she likes BB All-Star 7. That's an iconic season for us BB US fans. So I definitely like the references there. So I like that about her tape more than the last tape I watched where he didn't mention at all anything really about Big Brother or previous seasons. I do like that she wants to shake stuff up. I think that would be great television. She can also win comps. She knew about a wall comp before going in to this game, which is impressive because a lot of the contestants we've been getting in recent years are just like, what's the wall comp? What's a, what's a veto is, I don't know what that is. The power of voodoo. I don't know. So she knew her stuff. I like that she at least attempted some kind of edits and transitions, even though they weren't smooth at all. And I wouldn't have done that unless you were really good at that, but it looked like she was putting some effort into it. She even added Nicki Minaj to her audition tape. That should get her an automatic callback. And this is when my husband decides to make something with the blender when I'm recording. It's very loud. It's a very loud blender we have. I could hear it through this. He's still blend. Okay, I think he's done blending. All right. I like that she's going to be very blunt. I think we do need those entertaining, blunt people in the house. Like she said, a lot of these people that they've been cast in these past six years, weak, weak. So you're going to have to have some other strong personalities if you're going to cast such a strong personality in the house. The only thing I worry about, again, and I say this every time, is that if you watch closely, she wanted to say, I've always thought I would be faint. Like she started to say famous, or I always knew I would be famous. So it's people seeking fame. But I do have to remember this is a television show on a major television network. So most people are going to want some kind of notoriety on it. I just don't want people who are only there for that. But it seems as though she has a background enjoying it as a fan and somewhat respect for the game um, that maybe that wouldn't be the case. So if people like that get famous off it, awesome. If you respect the game and you come in having a knowledge of it and gain fame, that's great. But if you come in not knowing anything about it, disrespect it and be like, I just want to be on Survivor, but I guess I'm here. What is this show? I didn't even know this was still on. Is this, who's the brother and who's big? She didn't give me any of those vibes. So I would say, Amanda, I hope to see you this season because gosh, wouldn't you love to see, wouldn't you have loved to see Amanda on a season? Just tell it off, you know, butt faces like Jerkson and baby bangs. I mean, I wouldn't have wished that season upon her, but boy, would I have liked to see her put them in their place. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Everything you think, let me know. Make sure you hit the like on this video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and share this video out. I'm going to be going over and breaking down lots of other auditions until this new season of Big Brother airs because we're just getting ready. We're partying. This is how we party before BB23. This is how we get ready for our summer obsession.